What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lady Pelvic, Pelvic Gaming, and happy Halloween. Welcome to the 17th Halloween video in your sub box. It's actually great, because that means you're getting something in your sub box. A few things before we dive into today's topic. One, why am I wearing one glove? Because I can't find the other one. Two, why am I dolled up more than normal? Well, Lady Gaga dropped a makeup line, and I'm a diehard Lady Gaga fan, so your girl had to show support. So prepare for a lot more glitz and glam in future videos. Today, I'm sharing my top five video game tracks that put me in a Halloween-y kind of mood. I got a little variety for you today. Some of the songs are more for like a haunted house to create atmosphere. Other songs you'd want to hear at a Halloween party. So let's get started. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. All right, so we're just getting started and I'm already cheating. This song isn't originally from a video game, but it's still in a video game, so I'm counting it. Well, for technicality's sake, it's in five games if you include remakes. This catchy tune had to make the list because it's literally the Halloween anthem. From Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Fraction Number, Chain of Memories, and Rechain of Memories, this is Halloween. Obviously, this came from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, and the movie is so popular and loved, it made it into the popular and beloved series, Kingdom Hearts. The nostalgia for this song is unreal, and it instantly puts any listener into the Halloween spirit. It's a classic, a song that will remind you, no matter how old, wrinkled, and gray you become, you will rekindle the love for the spookiest time of the year. In case you're listening and not watching, I did put spoilers on the screen. One thing most games have in common is to kill, and you don't get punished for it. In fact, games encourage the slaughtering of monsters, gain that experience, that weapon level, that job experience, those execution points. Undertale, an indie game that took the world by storm back in October 2015. A game that defied the JRPG genre and even poked fun at it. And it took more of a logical approach when finding yourself in a battle. Most games only allow us to fight instead of using our words or finding a peaceful alternative, aside from escaping. Well, if you decide to stick to your JRPG guns and kill everything, the game will change. And you'll find yourself having a... bad time. Typically, if you kill a few monsters or none of them, you'll still be able to go to town, hear the peppy music, interact with the locals, and everything is relatively okay. Take Snowden, for example. However, if you choose to massacre everything in your path, every track is slowed down, dark and eerie. You'll notice the people are gone. Even shops are empty and you can steal instead of buy. Note the entire game is like this. Genocide Music has a separate album. Now, one of the most iconic tracks in the game is Bone Trousel, the theme of the most lovable skeleton in the world. Sorry, Jack. Papyrus is a puzzle-loving, spaghetti connoisseur, dating king. He's a goofball who's instantly lovable. It's impossible to hate this guy and his bouncy theme song. If you take the path of genocide, you will encounter Papyrus, trying to stop you from walking this dangerous path. He says he believes in you, will tutor you, and try to keep you on the straight and narrow. You, the player, lose control of Frisk and slowly approach Papyrus. Being the silly skeleton man that he is, he assumes you're offering a hug of acceptance instead of a beheading. The entire time this is taking place, you hear Bone Trousel slow down, the sounding of bombs going off in the background. It sounds like a decisive moment in the game, the point of no return. As if you could kill someone so innocent and as good-natured as Papyrus, you could kill anyone. And that's why Bone Trousel Genocide Version is on this list. A spooky, scary skeleton shouts startling shrilly screams. The sneak them, there's a couple of girls and just won't leave you be. Have you ever been probed before? 
According to my analytics, at least 20% of you should be, but I'm not a doctor. This actually brings me to my next song, Alien Invasion. <sighs> I'm so good at segues. Aliens, specifically in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This song just gives me the heebie-jeebies, and I'm pretty sure it scarred me as a child. While playing Majora's Mask, you'll end up helping Romani fend off aliens who are stealing the farm's cows. Sounds crazy, right? Well, it is, until you find out it's real and you're frantically running or riding around, or keep a cool head and just shoot from a box, the ranch shooting aliens. And the music doesn't help with your anxiety either, but it does pull the entire scene together. I also find it to be one of the most memorable and off-handed songs in The Legend of Zelda, as there's nothing else like it in the series. <laughs> Halloween doesn't have to be scary all the time. Sometimes it can be cute and cuddly with a haunted undertone. Sonic Adventure 2's Dark Chow Garden. It takes a cutesy chow theme we all know and love and adds a dash of spoopy. And you know, it fits the hellish chow garden nicely. It's like if you took Halloween and chill and made it into the song, it's the Dark Chow Garden. It's perfect devil baby raising music and certainly deserves a spot on the list. <laughs> Okay, so there are a few more songs that deserve to be on this list, so quick run through. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time's Shadow Temple. I try to keep one selection per series, but I can't deny this music gives me the chills. <laughs> Breath of Fire 4's Destruction. I feel like I'm in an asylum, straight up. You're in one area that sounds one way, then you go back to that same area another time and you hear this instead and it's not okay. Chrono Trigger, Inside Magus's Castle is an excellent eerie song. You definitely get walking into Dracula's castle vibes. For Earthbound, the final boss, Gygus, reminds me of Majora's Mask Final Battle music because it comes in phases, but the first phase is by far the creepiest. I dare you to turn all the lights off, blast this song, and manage not to go insane. Lavender Town. From a lot of Pokemon games, while there are several variations, Pokemon Red and Blue is where it's at for me. Spirit supernatural, a shy what's all the buzz. The bags of bones seem so unsafe, it's semi-serious. I cannot remember the last time I went to a pumpkin festival, a harvest festival, a haunted hayride, or anything like that. At least, not in real life. Night in the Woods, an indie game about a lot. Mental illness, economics, and just life. The way I describe this game to people is, you know those long nights you had as a team where you'd stay up till 3, 4 in the morning and just talk about life, shooting the shit, having heart to hearts, living in the moment? That's how this game came across to me. Never mind the murders, but anyways, there's a specific part in Night of the Woods, the Harvest Festival, and you hear this beautiful, upbeat, and enchanting tune. The entire game has pretty relaxing, chill vibe music, but then when you hear this, it wakes you up. I felt instantly transported into the festival.
And there you have it! Top 5 video game songs that get you in the Halloween spirit. As always, in the comment section below, let me know what video game music gets you in the mood. For Halloween, not for... <laughs> wow, I missed. Thank you so much for watching Top Boxes and more Top 5 videos like this in the bottom box is my Let's Play channel. I wish you all a very happy Halloween. Mwah!